Hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all oh, y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore fly. Tell your mama I said hi. I would highly suggest that you do that. Follow me on the gram. I definitely got some exclusive content, things that is going to be coming out. And we will be going live from Max out, from the area, whatever the case may be. Shout out to my brother, Showtime SP and Frozenberg Raw on the commentary. Uh, shout out to Rare Breed Entertainment. I've been getting a lot of questions, and if you like the way we on, also subscribe to the Patreon. I will be uploading a documentary as far as all of the behind scenes content and things like that. I have a cameraman coming down there. But that's going to my Patreon first. It'll be on YouTube. Who knows? That shit might drop September, December. I don't know. It'll come out when it comes out, when I feel like dropping it. But it will definitely be available on Patreon not too long after Max out because I feel like you know, you have to continue to push your own product, do your own thing. I tell people all the time that's in a lot of these companies and working for people that they don't want to work for. I know people that work at jobs that if your kid is sick, you can't even take a day off work. You know what I'm saying? Somebody has to damn near die. And then when they do, you have to prove that that person passed away. So for me, I'm more of a business perspective, more entrepreneurial, and I'm just pushing my own product and doing my own thing. So subscribing to the Patreon does help facilitate. We go to a lot of these events. And most of the time, we don't even really ask the leagues for much or anything at all. So we had to fly there, hotels, this, that, and the third, because we like what we do. So when we ask, you know what I'm saying, subscribe to the Patreon or, you know what I'm saying, the people that give super chats and shit like that, that does help out because we pour it all back into Battle Rap. Now, let's keep it moving. So, uh, Max Out 3. A lot of questions have been getting asked. A lot of people have been hitting me up, asking behind the scenes shit. What time does it start? I'm trying to plan my day, blah, 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 blah. And I, and I get it. Please get out of here. Get out of here, man. Shit, I'm saying. Get I would do the same. I see on here that it says 12 noon. With me knowing what I normally know about battle rap events, if it says 12, you should probably look till about 1 for things to probably start rolling. Me and SP and Froze will probably be there a little earlier than that. You know what I'm saying? You see some fans, you take pictures, you talk your shit. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. So we'll be there, but the battles will probably start. I, if I was to guess, this is just me taking a hypothetical. ARP might start them joints at 12.30. I've seen him do a 16, 17 battle card that ended in eight hours. So we looking to keep it moving. I don't, um, we've been working with Avocado, you know what I'm saying? We got a lot of things planned that we want to do, but we're trying to keep it moving, you know what I'm saying? Nothing's worse in events than a lot of lag time, you know what I'm saying? I rock with y'all, y'all rock with me, but I'm the type of person, I ain't trying to see me talking for 25, 30 minutes, or I ain't trying to see Froze or SP talking for that long either. Keep this shit moving. I don't want to do it, we're not going to do it. So we want to bring you the best viewing experience, you know what I'm saying, to all of the subscribers and people out there that are watching this content. Uh, people have been asking about a couple pay-per-views. I will reach out to ARP and see if he'll let me give a couple of pay-per-views away. And even if the folks that have copped already, you know what I'm saying, if you've copped already, I don't know, we'll start the comment section. You can say you whether you copped it, whether you think about copying it, whether you want to cop it, and we'll try to work out something like that because I'm all about giving back. I've been giving back pay-per-views to fans since the fucking Watch Battle Live era, you know what I'm saying? I used to just pick a person, send them $45 or whatever the case may be, and I feel like I still want to be a part of doing things like that, you know what I'm saying? Because benevolence to me is a thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, I definitely have been blessed immensely, and I continue to give back. Uh, about the card, you know what I'm saying? There's some big battles on there. I hear a lot of the talk, I hear a lot of the speculation, and I hear a lot of what people are saying, but I really feel like the most important battler on this card, per se, the most, the one single most important battle rapper is Young Ill. Young Ill, you've came back more than Tom Brady. You came back more than Jesus. You came back more than Michael Jordan. There are a lot of people that you came back more than Rob Gronkowski. This is about your eighth or ninth comeback, and I ain't mad. I take every Young Ill comeback. I'm cool with that. But this is very important because I've been doing my research on you, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've known a lot of your battles from the past, obviously, the shines and the DNAs and the surfs and shit like that. I know that. Cool. I'm talking about you versus Big K. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this is a pretty big battle for you because you coming back at the time where Big K is cooking everything in front of him. Big K just arguably beat, well, he not arguing, you know? Ain't no fucking argument to me. It ain't an argument to me. He just beat Murder Mook 
and he arguably to beat T-Rex. That's an argument, you know what I'm saying? It's debate, people could do what they want. I had Big K with the win. You're coming back after not battling for about four years. They dropped the battle with you and John John. It was cool, but it was just that. You know what I'm saying? It's, it was a little dated because uh, Street Status O&M took 10 years to drop it. They didn't conveniently drop it until the day after you was announced versus uh, Big K. I, did I think that that was the best marketing move? No, because I had strategically been asking O for like the last three years, every six months, to drop you versus uh, John John. Did nothing much for you, but it is what it is. You're here now. So I went back and watched you versus uh, Briz Rothstein. Fuck what's got into you, they'll ask what got into you. When twin blades enter you and then get waved into you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's about it. Like one of Briz's last battles. It's fire. High beams, low lies. I got 600, more views than this nigga. But there ain't no reason to action shoot at this nigga. Who is this nigga? Briz kind of got crazy on you. You did have some flashes and moments, but you got booed. That's it. Hold up. Yo, let him work. Let him work. Yo, come on, yo. Yo, let him work. Hold it down. Hold it down. It is what it is. It was an Atlanta crowd. Uh, it was one of the big stages. It was the Cassidy event joint when Cassidy battled on there. And you got booed. Uh, I think for you the biggest thing is to be relatable but be yourself, you know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta be young, ill, you gotta be ice pack, you gotta go back to what we know. See, the thing about Verb, Verb is a hell of a promoter, he's promoted so much to the fact that he doesn't even need to talk about this card anymore. And it will still be the single greatest promoted card ever. But I did kind of find out why, it's because he has a vested interest in it. So when you have a vested interest in something, what that means is if I team up with somebody and they're gonna kick me back 5, 10, 15% or whatever the case may be, it becomes now my duty to help drive this as much as possible because I want to get the biggest return on my investment that I can possibly get. Do I know what verse percentage is? No, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm sure he gonna get some bread off of this, you know what I'm saying? Because he literally is a walking promotional machine. It's every day, it's to the point where when I wake up, I see verb. I see verb on the timeline. I see verb in the spaces. I verb, 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 verb. To the point where he's making spaces, putting them out, and he not even putting them on his own YouTube channel. Bloggers, pick this up. He giving away free money. That nigga feeding the community right now. So when he dropping 45 minute blogs and I feel like I got something to say on him, I'm gonna drop it because motherfuckers is gonna watch it. Hey, my kids going to school. <laughs> I ain't mad. They need new shoes. They need new clothes. We gonna get it. But uh, a verb, has promoted this battle with A Ward to the max, to the max out, to the point where <laughs> my brother Froze was like, if he don't win, he got a battle with me. I feel the same way. I feel the same way. You can't go on spaces for 600 months and 86 hours talking shit about every artist in the world and don't win your battle. Now, do I feel like Verve can win the battle? Mm hmm. You got a lot of support. St. Louis is behind him, and there's other two other St. Louis legends on the card. Now, when you when you quantify that uh, with the fact that the pay per view, <laughs> the numbers that this pay per view is doing, I don't know. They may not ever put the numbers out. They may not. You know what I mean? But it's damn near record breaking. It is damn near record breaking what they have going on. I mean, they're breaking the record for pay per view. <laughs> huh? And. It all comes from, uh, you know, Max Out, Rare Breed Entertainment being able to like really understand what fans want, what the battles that they want to see, the names that they want to see, and they just book everybody and put them on the same card, and it's going to be a movie, you know what I'm saying? But for Young Ill, back to you, uh, you're probably one of the single most important battle rappers on this card, because guess what? If you do not win your battle, <laughs> at least... Make it debatable or interesting versus Big K. Now the narrative starts. Will St. Louis get 3-0 tonight? You don't want to be the guy that starts the train of Will St. Louis get 3-0 tonight. Do I think St. Louis is going to get 3-0? No, I don't. But I'm saying that to say this. You got to be sharp as iron because the thing is, Big K, he is a, a explosive performer. I've been there. I've been there and seen the battle in the blue room. You know they say bloggers don't come outside, but they told me that when I was outside. I, I seen it myself. I seen it. Him versus A Ward. That shit don't look like that shit be looking on fucking TV right there. I'm telling you, I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to help you. 
I'm giving this is not it. This is not even a blog. This is an intervention right now. You know, make sure your material is relatable. I know sometimes you get in pockets where it's like, you know, you spitting a lot of dope flows and shit and I get it. But I need a lot of that. The blades enter you when they enter you and make an inner you. I need that type of shit. Yeah, I, I definitely that max spread. I, I promise you that's the cow shit. But I was talking about uh, that procrastinating pimp. I ain't put him. He get his whole background check. Everybody get their background wrecks. I'm like a procrastinating pimp since I picked up this. Because I ain't put my Mac down yet. Yes. Yes, I need that. I need that. Because you are the single most important performer of the night. There are a lot of people that are on cards who battle at pivotal moments that can either help elevate or, you know, things start getting a little wacky. Disaster was one of them a few weeks ago. About a week ago. About a week ago! Disaster was one of them. He was in a critical position. He came on the stage to battle after Ace and Rome tore the building down. He dropped a brick. And when you drop a brick, the person after you has to try to pick it up. The person after you has to try to pick it up. And the fans are starting to get antsy, aggy, and start booing. Now, in the blue room, you probably, you don't have to worry about booze. You know what I'm saying? That's the one thing I can say. Because in those smaller rooms, it's more of a controlled environment. To where, you know, the people are just there for bars. In big stages and big crowds, what I've started to notice as of late. Is the fans are starting to become a part of the show. And then, I, like I said in the blog yesterday. When they're standing outside for five, six, seven hours in heat. And it ain't eight, they get aggy. Now they want to make a movie of it, right? Now, uh, Young Ill, when you last stood in front of a big crowd like I previously stated, you got booed, you know what I'm saying? They were saying, get him some milk! Get him! We ain't looking for that shit. The, 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 we not looking for that in 48 hours. I need you to be on, on in your bag, on your A game. And I think you will. I definitely think you will. Uh, I think that... Overall, there are a lot of dope battles that we need to be looking forward to. Obviously, Hitman Holler versus Ill Will, Verb versus Ward, Young Ill versus Big K, Calico versus Goods. But I definitely think a very, very, very important matchup on this card is none other than Show Off versus Head Ice. So let me stop. Give some love to Show Off and Head Ice. Show Off had a phenomenal battle with Chef Trez earlier in the year. Uh, it was slept on by a lot of people. I'm not even going to hold you. That battle, they really, really, really went crazy in that joint. Show Off and Trez. And Ice is Ice, you know what I'm saying? Uh, love a home fries. Y'all see Ice in all of the clips. He's actually one of my favorite battlers. I think I've went on to say this in a number of different occasions that Ice is definitely, you know what I'm saying? Who gonna stop Ice out of stop lights at stop lights? You know what I'm saying? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, this will be my first time actually seeing Ice battle in person before. You know what I'm saying? I'm a fan and I've always been a fan. I've watched him forever and I remember him from back in the Lions Den, Sub Zero days, and now he's on. Uh, max out with show off uh, show off is probably going to be the person that would take a shot back because you know uh, Ace I mean did his thing and he was going uh, clap around clap around we're going to end shit like that you know what I'm saying um, but show off if I had to get if I had to bet on my battle rap parlay of which MC is more than likely to take a shot back it will probably be uh, show off you know what I'm saying because that's just show off is a, he, he, he waves the flag and he stands tall when he represents what he represents. Uh, there's some battles at the bottom of the card with some MCs that, you know what I'm saying, I have seen and some of who I've heard of and some that I have been doing research on. I'm looking forward to the uh, Riggs versus J Slash. I've seen J Slash from years and years ago from the body bag battle days. Uh, used to be running around in all these small ass towns in the middle of nowhere. I was there, you know what I'm saying? They'll tell you, they'll tell you, they will tell you. I was outside before outside was outside. I was outside when niggas was fucking doing blogs and recording shit with a goddamn camera phone. I was there back then. I was there when niggas was recording actual battles on leagues with camera phones. But, you know, they'll act like I wasn't. So, uh, you know, I, I, I like him versus Riggs. Uh, that's a really good battle. Zay versus, uh, what was that, Sino Savvy? I haven't seen Sino Savvy, but I've, I, I pulled up some battles so I can watch today, so I have more on him. Def the Kid versus XL. I've clearly heard of both of them. XL is one of the few people that beat A Ward clear, and now he's getting a chance to do his thing on Max Out, so we're going to see where that goes. Uh, Goods versus Calico. You know, a lot of people have been talking about this. This Goods versus Calico is halfway down the card and could have been a headline battle somewhere else. It could have. It literally could have headlined Summer Madness. Tell me I'm lying. Um, overall, phenomenal card. I seen Nick Cannon give a shout out to it. 
The pay-per-views is available on rarebreedent.com. There is no more tickets available. Everybody be hitting me for tickets, hitting me for this. I'm like, yo, I ain't got it. I ain't got it. Listen, I ain't got it. I ain't got it. If you want to commentate for me, you can send me uh, send me about three bands, and I'll let you have my seat in the commentating spot. I'm still going to come. I'm still going to be there, but I'll let you talk for me. But other than that, I really can't. You know, I, I got no pull here, you know what I'm saying? It's been a full year, I ain't got no pull here. I'm just, I'm just getting here. I, you know what I'm saying? Like, what is it? I'm, you know what I mean? It's been a good 2023. But shout out to uh, Red Breed Entertainment. But more about Young Ill. You are one of the single most important battlers on the card. Where you go is going to be the direction that St. Louis is heading in. Early. Now, you know, later on things may pick up and things like that, but... You know, the fact that you have not battled on a pay-per-view stream since 2019, you know what I'm saying, I, I, the Blue Room does help because it's a setting and a stage and an area set for bars. So that's going to help you out a lot because they're going to get to see, you know what I'm saying, what you're able to do. But uh, Secret Battle coming up, Secret Battle. Now, do I know the Secret Battle? Yeah, I do. Do I think the Secret Battle is going to be good? Yeah, I do. Is the secret battle versus millions and millions and million view battle rappers? Yeah, it is. Could the secret battle have been on another card and still did great? Yeah, it could have. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to lie. That nigga's going to be firing. There's going to be some weapons used there. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I promise you that. It's going to be some missiles. It could be kind of crazy. You know what I'm saying? Who's going to pull out a trick at the end is all I'm saying. Who is going to pull it out and be able to, and be able to win? We will see. Um... But other than that, man, uh, well, let me let me let me just wrap it back up for you. You know, I did tell you follow me on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? That that makes a lot of sense because we're going to be trying to give out some pay per views and help people that manner. That's one. Number two, I did mention that we did have a Patreon, and number three, I did mention that Young Ill is the single most important person on this card. I'll check back in with y'all a little later, and I'll try to continue to bring y'all all the news. But you already know, gang.